this age followed Victorian age. So uh, in this age, we find that um, there was a huge scale skepticism and Victorian morals were shattered. Nobody believed in the old values and traditions. And uh, there had been so much chaos around the world because with the beginning of the 20th century, there had been much focus about the um, whole scale uh, disruption mm -hmm. that was uh, caused by war in 1914 and after war, whatever was in the store or whatever belief was there, it all shattered. Uh, there was no belief in religion. God was considered to be dead, and there was existentialism. There was angst, anxiety, and uh, people tended to believe that God had left the world. So uh, they thoroughly became skeptic. They doubted everything, and materialism prevailed. And Second World War then came, and this all happened, and people had no faith at all, neither in morality, nor in God, nor in society, and even on their own selves, they lost their faith. Thank you so much for sharing all the important ideas with all of us. Thank you so much, Shavar. You may mute yourself. Uh, well, participant, why 20th century is known as the age of interrogation? Uh, yes, whatever Shavar was explaining, let us try to say, yes, that's true. But the thing is that a spirit of age and when we talk about the spirit of the age, we need to understand every age is having beliefs. Every age is producing its own literature. Every age is depicting its own life. So this time the new philosophy was calling in doubt as I would like to quote here, John Donne. So, uh, Dunn was doing the same, then was putting question before the centuries that were before, before John Dunn. So this time we see here we have a lot many things. So in the background of this very century, we have crumbling values. In the background of this century, we have a lot many things and definitely that is the reason. In this age, the questions are there. In this age, we have something like that, like modern novel, a novel that is putting questions, a novel that is not following the traditions, okay? So that is the reason they, they, they call it modern novel, okay? This time it was possible for any novel to be realistic or unrealistic. This time in this age, it was possible for any novel to conform to an organized story or dispense with plots. Present senses and episodes are present fairy, fairy tales. So experimentation was essential in this stage. All right. So yes, the conception is changed. Second thing is that the conception of time has changed. This time we have modern novel. Time is no longer conceived the movement of moments. Okay. Like it is no it is possible for the writers to go for the stream of consciousness so the third thing is that this time we have modern psychology the writers whatever they are writing they are presenting something different psychology is the subject okay so this trust among people is there emancipation from rigid moral codes is there so yes we can say the age is the age of interrogations okay i'm sure that i have answered this particular question why this age is known as the age of interrogations well something other we have something there in the chat box bergen's theory of time was followed in spite of clock time yes you're right okay <clears throat> talking about the next question <clears throat> 